We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars football program, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, nice to have you back with us. Uh, I guess let's get right into it and get your expectations for uh, your program this year. Uh, well, you know, you know, Quad A kind of threw us a loop, so I guess it can't say expectations of getting the playoffs because everybody's getting the playoffs this year in Quad A. So, um, you know, expectations for us is to, you know, Try to try to continue and piggyback off what we did last year, and try to get over the um, the perennial hump we've been sitting on for the last couple of years and not being able to get past the second round of playoffs. So to hopefully, you know, play consistent, consistent good football, um, and then try to get to the well, get to the get past the second round of playoffs. Coach, you mentioned it, uh, the new classification or the reclassification. Uh, any thoughts on the four? class system for football and uh, the fact that, again, there's only going to be 16 teams, so all 16 teams get in? Um, not really. You know, I'm not – that's, you know, that's, that's above me. My job as a coach, whatever they tell me I got to do, I'm going to coach the kids to be successful as best we can. All the other stuff is my new – you know, people get into it. You know, you hear people talk about, well, you know, what's that mean? You know, everybody should – everybody can make the class like so. It doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, we're going to play football. Uh, we're going to do the best we can to uh, put a good team out there every week, uh, play some interesting games, you know, and try to be successful, win some games, and just have success and, and show people what the Eastern Panhandle can do. Let's get into uh, the guys that you have coming to the program this year and who will be some of the leaders to bring that uh, hopeful success. Uh, well, you know, we will. You know, coming back, you have Dylan Herrick. Uh, you know, quarterback coming back, starting quarterback for the last couple of years. Uh, coming back, uh, you have him. Uh, you have Tayshawn Roper, you know, great, powerful running back with speed. Uh, you have, um, you know, a uh, new face, new face to the varsity level for for big time. It'll be Tony Allen. Um, you know, he's going to hopefully step in and uh, not replace, but be able to fill in some of the speed that we lost from Keyshawn. Um, and some of that big play capability, but we're going to lose some Keyshawn. Uh, you still return Jackson Rockwell as a receiver. Um, you know, you're going to return uh, Noah Bajan defensively. Uh, you're going to return Leland Benner defensively, who played some linebacker for us toward the end of the season. Uh, you still got those guys. Still got a major guys in the secondary, Demarius Wallace. Uh, Jackson Rockwell will still be back there. Uh, new face, new face to football. Uh, Jamari Jenkins is going to fill in some and play some for us. Uh, so we, you know, we got we got a whole bunch of kids that's going to collectively come in, fill spots for kids that we lost last year, and um, do some good things for us. Coach, you mentioned it a lot coming back for your team this year. Uh, your expectation is to try to get past that second round of the playoffs and go deeper this year. Does this, on paper, feel like a team that could make that kind of run? Do you think? On paper, yes, but we know paper don't win games. So on paper, we feel so. We know we just we got to go out to the field. We got to execute game plans. Um, defensively, make tackles, be in the right spot. You know, this is what we got to do. Uh, you know, the, the name of the game is is you know block and tackle. Uh, so we can block people, we can tackle people, we can catch the ball. I think we'll be all right. I mean, you know, that's that's the name of the game. So. Hopefully we'll be able to do that, and I think we've been we've been working hard enough in the off season uh, to get to get those things accomplished. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, defensive side of things. Who are some guys that are coming back on that side and stepping up? Uh, Noah, Noah Bajan is uh, one of the big ones um, on, our, on our defensive line who's been stepping up and who's been there um, holding down the middle. Um, he can be he can move around so he can play middle. He can play defensive end. Um, you know, Leland Benner, I mentioned before, um, playing linebacker. He can also slide down if we need somebody uh, for pass rush to come off the edge if we need that. Um, Demarius Wallace played a lot last year at corner and safety. Um, Jackson Rockwell played a lot last year at safety. Um, you know, Tony Allen's going to step in this year, and instead of being um, a fill-in role, I think he's going to – take some pressure off Tayshawn or having to play a lot of defense to take a lot of bang on his body, uh, step in there so we can rest Tayshawn a little bit because all the probably all the banging he's going to take from playing running back for us. And then, once again, we can step in and bring Tayshawn in whenever we need a, whenever I send needs a blow or something's going wrong. 
or we need to fill in somebody else, bring another cover guy, Payshawn can come in and fill that role. Um, you know, uh, and then, you know, the rest of the defensive line, we'll play some defensive line by committee, rotate kids in and out for what we need to keep them fresh um, because we're going to probably – they probably want to play double duty more than they have in the past as far as offensive line, defensive line. So, you know, those are, those are things that are going to happen for us this year. Coach, your team is uh, at Spring Mills to kick off the season. Obviously, big EPAC matchup, two of the best teams in the state uh, over the last few years. So um, what are your thoughts on this year's Spring Mills team, and, and how do you feel like your teams match up? Uh, we know um, – Spring Mills team is going to be a good team. You know, uh, I feel like I'm thinking, in my honest opinion, they're feeling like they, they let one get away from them last year. It was a close game, uh, 21-19. So I'm pretty sure they're feeling, you know, they, they let one slip away from them. Um, you know, it's like we're feeling like we did we just didn't close that one out last year um, in the fashion we thought we should have. Uh, they're returning a lot of great players. You know, uh, Coach Coach Law has done a great job. You know, filling in as an interim now now known as now named as the head coach. Uh, he's done a great job of getting that team prepared. They had they had um, they went to the playoffs last year. So you know, we're expecting a, a hard fought battle uh, between two good EPAC teams. Um, you know, and hopefully, you know, hope you know, hopefully we'll come out on top. I know they're taking the same thing, uh, but we you know we're gonna put our best foot forward to come away uh, this Friday with a victory. Spring Mills has something kind of similar to you guys, and that's consistency at the quarterback spot with a huge playmaker in Max Anderson. What do you feel like your team needs to do to contain him as much as possible? Uh, easier said than done. Man. You know, um, you know, we we talk about you know gap integrity, um, pass rush integrity, or just not letting uh, stay in your passing lanes. If we stay in our passing lanes, hopefully. We can keep them corralled, and then, you know, the, the, once you get in corralled, another hard part is getting into the ground. Um, so we're hoping that, you know, we can just keep definitely keep our, our pass, rushing, take, pass rushing lanes integrity, and then once we get there, uh, getting to the ground, uh, which is a lot easier said than done. But we're hoping that we can continually do that, uh, keep him in the pocket um, as much as possible, uh, keep him contained in the running game. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we can do that and hopefully – you know, it'll lean. It'll lean more in our favor. If we can do that. If we can't do that, it's going to be, it could be a rough night. Coach, obviously things have kind of changed with the new classification in terms of everybody's in the playoffs. But uh, last few years, your team has consistently been a playoff team and been one of the best teams in the state. And the program has definitely taken a a big step toward that as being one of the best teams in the state. Uh, just what do you think has, I guess, been the biggest change that you've seen over the last few years uh, to see this consistency that your program's now uh, listed as, you know, a lock for one of the best teams, or at least on paper, people are thinking that you're going to be one of the best teams in the state again this year. And uh, I guess how has that changed over the last few years with the consistency that your team's been able to show? Oh, I feel like you know, a couple years ago when you when you flipped and changed, when we flipped and changed the culture again, and uh, started becoming success successful again. You know, success breeds success. You know, kids see success. Uh, they want to be a part of the success. Uh, they want to continue the success. So when that happens, you know, it's a lot easier to get uh, your community, your kids, parents to just buy into what you're doing. When you can get that, when you can get that, then you can get uh, things that we've had. You know, consistency in the playoffs, consistency in our play. Uh, just things of that nature. So, you know, having having the kids and the parents and the community, you know, buy into what we're doing here again um, means a lot. It means, it means a whole great deal to your program. All right, Coach Hunter, before we get you go, we're going to continue with our fun questions uh, from last year. And our fun question for this week is, uh, besides football, what is, I guess, your favorite sport that you enjoy the most and why? Um, I <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to say this. I think, uh, probably about two years ago, two years ago, um, I told myself when I saw it, I told myself I would, I'm never. And when I wound up doing was falling in love with, with the, with the new, the new sport called pickleball. Um, I, I love playing pickleball. I have fun playing pickleball. Um, 
So that's that's my fun. That's my next sport that I like to play. Don't get a chance to get out and play it as much as I like. Um, they do have, um, you know, they do have a, a unit in the PE classes where they play pickleball. So sometimes I got a planning period of time I can get up and play uh, some of the kids during that time frame. But other than that, that's probably the one sport I like to, I like to do. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. All right, thank you.